What's up everybody, Justin Hayes here from superhumanpursuits.com and today I wanted to go over pressure, amount of pressure that you should be applying when you're doing self mouthpass release and in turn breathing and its importance to this entire process. It's one of the most common things I get asked about is you know, how much pressure should be applied and it's largely a unique thing, it's very individual. And but, but what you have to keep in mind is that with self mild fascia release, what you're trying to do is release tension, whether it be in muscle, fascia, tendons, what you're trying to go from a place of a tight, knotted up area and, and release that and let go. And so in turn, while you're doing release techniques, you don't want to be holding tension in other areas of your body. So the amount of pressure you apply needs to be just enough to make you uncomfortable, but not so much that you tense up in other areas of your body. And so one of the most important tips that I've kind of learned over the last year is to make sure that you are breathing properly when you're doing all these exercises. And what that does really is breathing just forces you into a relaxed state. And so let me give you kind of an example here. If you were doing foam roller work on the IT band area. Sometimes you see people and they'll kind of just kind of, you start to see them cringe up when they get in this area. And so they'll start to tighten up through their midsection and tighten up up here. And in reality, that's not what you want to do because you're trying to release tension here, but at the same time you're creating new tension in other areas of the body by kind of nodding up and creating a comfortable, uh, uncomfortable stance. So, what you need to do is apply enough pressure that you can kind of breathe clear. So you kind of, you're inhaling for one, just, and then exhaling for three, four, five seconds. And if you can breathe like that, you'll almost notice that you won't tense up. It's almost impossible to breathe like that and tense up at the same time. So it's a good thing to keep in mind when you're doing these sort of activities. Uh, if you if you're if you find that you can't do it, let's say I'm on this uh, PVC roller right here, and I, I notice that I can't breathe cleanly, I can't stay relaxed. Well, that's too much pressure for you. You need to go ahead and uh, drop down to maybe a foam roller or start with something more simple. And so that's that's kind of a roundabout answer of how much pressure you should apply, and in turn how important breathing is to these types of activities. Let me know if you have any other questions, suggestions. Love to hear from you. If not, see you next video.